They go for it on the ground. And Boston Scott. And you can't just run straight into him. You got to cut and move into people. You see? You dart one way. And save it. Let it go down to the two minute warning as Hurts bounces outside. And that's what they're going to be able to do here. Run it to two. So, best starting position for New York. Can they make something of it? Wilson. Oh, that did not look good. Boy, again, they come barreling in on him. Got to throw the ball away, but it really it's the back. Right here. Delvin Cook, right there. Throw it to Delvin Cook. You know what I mean? You got to get through the progressions quick. Obvious rundowns because you get what you want. The game's easier. First to goal from the nine. Ball batted around, and Wilson then bats it down to the ground as Barmore was there to put a hand on it almost. Could have it with it bouncing around, made a pick. Look at this bouncing around. Regular basis for the Falcons. Second and 11 here for Carr. Miller, another rookie running back, and he takes it. Mike was down there and a couple others making the stop. I also think that Barmore had a hand in it. There's Christian Barmore. <laughs> he was a fascinating conversation. Miller again. Grabbed by Barmore and others. You can see the avalanche and Jeremiah Farms right there. That elbow injury. First and ten. Fake the reverse. Looking down the field and was trying to go underneath to Jacobson. He got batted down. Barmore was the one who denied that pass being completed. But they wanted to go deep there, it looked like. They were trying. Go ahead and you're going to watch on the bottom of your screen. As you'll see right there. Double teamed, Devontae Adams. So good job by the Patriots. They're going to be aware of where he is at all times. Since last year, 10 touchdowns. Giving away these starts too early. Same story. First and 10 as Jacobson weaves back to the middle. Adams is up top. Safety's going to stay there. Inside will be open. Pass through the hands. I don't know how he missed him that much. Oh, was, oh it was deflected. Okay. Yeah, Barmore gets, gets his hand on it just a little bit. Good job by Jimmy G getting down there. The idea is to look downfield and then get it out, but. That's the second time he swatted one today. And that's about a 15-yard save right there because there's nobody. Which they took four seconds with that play. Now they go to Jacobs. He just got two. Barmore's had a very active game for New England. He's in on that stop. Yeah, I think Barmore and Godshaw inside really allow you to kind of slow right away 11 yard penalty but a new set of downs that's the key it's Jacobs I think they have to here to the left oh, they went right Jacobs is that. met head on and maybe even lost a half a yard you're not gonna run that ball to the right far more again Tony you called it Jim exactly right having a fantastic game pushing the interior of the pocket Look at that on him right away. And now the Patriots are going to get the football back. They've just taken their final timeout. We got 231 to go, plus the two minute warning. Secondary. Tenth play of the drive. Allen. Fake. Allen is sacked. Three Patriots get to Allen. Barmore, first man there. And the defensive front benefits, but I think Jawan Bentley came from the second level to help create havoc right out of the gate. So here they all come. And off of the play fake, they don't even respect it. They're going straight for number 17 because they don't want him to do the damage. Right out of the gate, there's Wise. 91 gets an arm up to discourage the pass. And then the rest of his defensive mates are there, led by Barmore, number 90. And then second down and nine for Buffalo. Allen steps up, and Allen fortunate just to get out of there and pick up a yard there was Barmore and Bentley fit and a fast start for Waddle as they get a breather with Hill little pitch play here to Mostert Savan Ahmed onto the field lines up at the top of your picture to it looking to it buried Christian Barmore and he's got a sack for a second straight week Archie's playing some of the best football of his burgeoning career, they lose six. Boy, he absolutely is. And when you talk about it, just a big, powerful, strong guy, he's playing on the edge. Uh, just a tremendous job 
of getting in there and Tua has nowhere to go downfield. I mean, he gets in there so fast, Tua. Minute 55 on the clock and that pass gets batted back. Christian Barmore. Christian Barmore, he's six foot five right there in the middle of your screen and watch how he gets on an edge and as soon as he gets on an edge, gets his hand up. He's been doing that all season long. Second down and eight, following the timeout. Howell's pass deflected, and then Logan Thomas. I don't know if they're gonna challenge it or not, but it looks like it's tipped there, and it looks like Logan Thomas not was not able to maintain possession. Oh yeah, that hits the ground. Maintain possession, following the penalty. Robinson, push. <laughs> from Philadelphia. He wanted us to tell everybody <laughs> that he squats 525, but it didn't work there. That was a game of six on first down. Zach Moss with the carry. That's his first carry of the day. First down carry for Taylor, and that goes nowhere. Barmore back on the field. Loss of three. Second time out, New England. Losing time with the ankle injury. Third down and two. And DeVito's pass gets batted down. Looking for Barkley, Christian Barmore. Got a piece of it. So the Giants will send out the punching unit with just over two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Yeah, Christian Barmore is six foot five, and once he collapses the pocket, he knows to get his hands up. He's been doing that all season long. From the New England 12, the handoff, Barkley. And he gets swallowed up, Christian Barmore. First Patriot in on the tackle. We are no surprise after what he did last week. DeVito takes off, and he's brought down at the 34-yard line. Barmore's had a terrific first half, and it's Allen in motion. Eckler. And force Belichick to use his final couple of timeouts here. So, <laughs> you get very good at that, those animations. Second down and 10. Here's Harris. 10. Draw. Harris. Send an extra man. And then get him sacked back at the 49 yard line. Brian and Duggar both coming in. They blocked Duggar out of what was the touchdown pass before, not this time. Fourth down. Again, they're they're mixing up their looks, doing it mostly on these third down plays. Confuse him, take away his primary off to the left. He just doesn't have an answer. You could see how uncomfortable he was. Quickly outside to Kelsey, his first catch. And he goes for five, tackled from behind by Christian Barmore. On first down for Edward Solaire on second and eight. Mahomes to throw, feels the pressure, and then goes down. Christian Barmore having a fantastic season. A team high, five and a half sacks now. He's one of the guys that they have to have step up coming from the other side. Number 90, just going to continue to work. Gets inside Trey Smith right there. And... You know, Clyde Edwards Alaire, you know, just a little, a, a tick sooner, you know, before you go. You know, hang in there for a second. Make sure everybody's secure. You could tell. And it led to it, lining up offsides there. Edwards Alaire hit at the line and thrown down by Christian Barmore. What was your, you know, you've had a week to digest it. Like and you're exactly right. That's been the, the, the difference in the game is Kansas City's performance on third down. Two for 11 on one side. The Jets, Ravens play later tonight against the Jacks. Barmore having a good game. Drops Edward Solaire for a loss. Look, we know they're a playoff team. Probably gonna win the division. Might still track down the one seed. Javante Williams, the single back. He has it. And he pushes the pile a couple of yards. And it'll bring up second down. And touchdown of the game. Second half starts with a Russell Wilson sack. Christian Barmore lowers the boom. Kurt Warner, this guy has been playing outstanding football. Uh, they've been playing outstanding defense, but you're right. Great job just winning quickly on that side. It was looking for the one-on-one -on -one back to the right-hand side. Nothing there before he could even get back to his left. 
And has a run by Williams. Gain of two. James Palmer, what do you have, sir? In, though, is the perspective here from his pocket. And down he goes. Christian Barmore again. Patriot fans cannot believe what they are seeing. And as you can hear, the same goes for Broncos fans. Second three and out on three possessions after halftime. As Riley Dixon, the punter, gets set up in the back of his end zone. You put him behind the stick. And it ends with a sack and fumble. Christian Barmore has been a one-man wrecking machine this quarter. Patriots say they have it. And the refs say it's Denver's ball, and that's the way Christian Barmore ends the third quarter with a career-high third sack of the game. Hard to remember. The Broncos led this game coming out of the locker. Wilson flips that out to Ryan, makes a move, and is lucky to have only a loss of three on that play. He began the season with five in the first six games. It's a second down and ten. Barmore is there to wrap up the rush. After a three-yard pick up. Ball will pick up maybe two or three more. Xavier Valade. It's been a little bit too soon. Bryce Hall, his 21st touch today. And going nowhere. Smothered by Christian Barmore. Third-year player from Alabama who says he, he plays with energy and anger every play on the field. Yeah, and, and as an interior defensive lineman came into the game with 54 tackles, and we talked about him earlier, and this is what he said, you know, being able to play on both sides, on the front end of plays, running things down from the back end, you can... This is more than a lot. Bounce it. Eight-yard pickup. He's got over 120 rush yards and trying to get a few more, but thrown down. 